Hello and uh, welcome to today's session on postgraduate programs in applied data analytics. So my name is uh, Macarena Rojas and I am the Senior Marketing Recruitment Officer at the College of Engineer and Computer Science. So joining us today uh, we have uh, Dr. Kerry Taylor. She's Associate Professor of Data Science and Convener of the Postgraduate Programs in Applied Data Sci Analytics, sorry, and Dr. Ching Wang. Um, she's Associate Director of Education Partnerships and Fellow at the Research School of Computer Science at HICS. So um, in terms of the format, um, Kerry will be speaking for about 20 to 25 minutes about our postgraduate programs in uh, data analytics and then Chin will briefly talk about our new uh, graduate, new graduate certificates of um, data engineering and the new graduate certificate of machine learning and computer vision. And after that, we will open the floor for uh, a few questions. Um, since it is a fairly small group, um, please leave your uh, questions in the comment section, and um, Carrie will and Carrie and Ching will be able to look at them, and then we can have a conversation. I had a webinar on Wednesday and um, because it was such a small group, we were actually be, we were able to actually have a really nice conversation in terms of questions. So um, I think that the more, the more informal and the most relaxed, the better, I would say. So without further ado, <laughs> I will give you Carrie right now who will be um, starting her presentation and she'll start sharing her screen at the moment. So thank you very much. Hello, thank you very much for that introduction. I think you can see my screen now. Someone shout if that's not the case. Um, I have a, a presentation that's headed postgraduate programs in applied data analytics. So I'm very fortunate to be the convener of this collection of programs. Program for us might be degree to you. Um, in applied data analytics, they're fairly new um, in the in the ANU, um, but we've had a few people through them by now, so they're not so new anymore. About four years they've been running. So I'll be speaking on what we call the MARDAN, the MARDAN or the MARDA, the Master of Applied Data Analytics, the Graduate Diploma of Applied Data Analytics, the Graduate Certificate of Applied Data Analytics, and then our very very new. We'll bring this in towards the end. Our Graduate Certificate of Data Engineering and our Graduate Certificate of Machine Learning and Computer Vision, which are somewhat related, but not exactly the same as the first three programs that I'll be focusing on to start with. Um, so these programs were designed, and including those two new ones as well, um, in a framework of wanting to have um, an ability for our postgraduate students to jump on and jump off at various places in their um, in their career development. So we have various flexible entry and exit strategies for these groups of programs and different ways of studying as well. So the idea being um, and the analogy with the, the, the tube map in London is you know getting on at certain places where you've been before, then joining us for a pathway and then jumping off depending on where you're going to go next. So there's quite a lot of flexibility in these programs, which somewhat makes it slightly more complicated to explain. It's not a simple straight path, um, but hopefully I can do a reasonably good job of that in this short time we have today to, to explain, because there's lots of options, lots and lots of options available to you. So in particular, these programs were designed in full awareness of this developing almost crisis in, I can't use that word, very bad word to use at the moment, <laughs> certainly in rapidly increasing demand for data skills in, um, in the Australian international environment, a well-recognised shortage of um, skills in doing things with data. And particularly with these programs, they're not just skills in data, but T-shaped skills with a depth and a breadth that you'll see you'll see as I demonstrate going through how these ones work. Um, being the national university, um, and you felt we needed to particularly jump to fill that gap in training. And so hence this, this program um, I'm about to talk about, the new postgraduate study opportunities for professionals interested in developing skills or reskilling in the area of data analytics. Um, and there's a suite of programs and courses here, they're interdisciplinary, 
the range of postgraduate qualifications and they combine the three elements of computer science, statistics and social science. This is very unusual. And they were very deliberately designed to address this global shortage of graduates with skills in data analytics, but not just data analytics, applied to high quality data informed decision making. And this, this high quality decision making is really the emphasis of where we're going with these, with these programs. So to summarise the qualifications coming out of this, um, we offer the Graduate Certificate of Applied Data Analytics, the Graduate Diploma of Applied Data Analytics, and the Masters of Applied Data Analytics. And they basically um, correspond to, as we go down the page, they're increasing the levels of um, depth of knowledge, and breadth of knowledge in the area. Um, we can also, we also offer these courses as non-award courses. That is, you can, given appropriate background skills, you can take them course by course, one at a time. Um, hence, uh, that really increases the flexibility of people who are maybe well trained and just missing one gap that they would like to take one of these courses. Um, we have small numbers of students do that, take that path, but they do. Um, and then also, we put a lot of work in these courses in particular. Um, this is pretty standard across the ANU, but we deal with it a lot in these programs in particular, in giving recognition through exemption or credit for prior learning, um, which is getting on point, points are different for different people, very individualised because of that. So I want to emphasise the uniqueness of this collection of programmes before going a bit more into the detail. And there's some very specific things that, that make it unique. One is the delivery format. We have this blended accelerated learning format, which is offered through these postgraduate programmes in, in data analytics, so particularly you get some options to, to study in a different way. Um, they also work a lot on practical case studies, focusing on real life situations, problems and solutions. A lot of our courses have very specific um, experience and actual stories and projects around very real problems going on in them, um, hence the applied. They have flexible entry and exit pathways. I think I've said that already. Um, and you can specialise, there's a specialisation. So this is the deep part of the T. We can specialise in, in the computing aspect of data analytics, in the statistical aspect of data analytics, or in the social science aspect of data analytics. But um, what really pushes this, uh, the difference here more importantly, is that our data analytics um, courses are designed, for, I mean, most data analytics courses are kind of programs of, in that sort of space are kind of aimed around here. In this program, these programs, we go right around this loop of, of decision making for impact. So generate the recognition of the idea on a need, study the evidence, apply the, the statistical analysis and the computational analysis of, of the problem, of the idea, test it out. Mind you, these things are often done together. There's often a circular loop going around here between what's the problem and what's the need and what do you know about it? We help you with that. And then going on to this, all the rest of this loop of actual decision making in practice is covered largely through our social science programs in the course. So this is the impact in decision making in, um, in policy. It's not just about the data, it's also about what do you do with it in policy and in business. So again, a little bit more um, diving deeper into the notion of T-shaped structure here. So in the first stage, which is largely a technical reskilling phase and largely maps to the Graduate Certificate Award, these stage one courses, these two um, statistics courses and two comp courses are somewhat reskilling. Um, they're courses that a lot of students who are already um, in skilled have, have basic um, levels of computing in maths or even very advanced levels in computing in maths before they come to us, they often get um, credit for those and skip over that level. So that's the first stage. But for people coming from other backgrounds, um, economics, maybe there's often a mixture of some people need to catch up engineering, they might need to catch up on some of it um, from um, 
uh, education, they may be having to catch up on all of these, for example, depending on your previous background. But we take people in and we bring them up to that level from a wide range of backgrounds. Then in stage two, this four courses out of here pretty much correspond to the, um, the graduate diploma. And then there's two more as well in this level. And this makes sure you go right across the board. You do stats and compute and statistics, um, computer science and social science right across at that stage two level to take out your graduate diploma. To go to stage three, that's the master's level. And then you start to specialize again. You do the remaining two courses out of this level. You only had to do four for the graduate diploma. You do the remaining ones. You've done all six. And then you do either two advanced statistics courses or two advanced computing courses or two advanced social science courses. And that, that gets you up to the, to the master's level. So I mentioned before, there's a choice of delivery modes. I wanna talk a little bit about more about that. This is another feature of the course that's really quite unusual. Um, you can do blended delivery, which is um, an accelerated part-time mode very much aimed at full-time professionals. Um, some, of the, some of our students are working in data science already um, or, or they're, they're working nearby and have been attracted to the opportunity of translating into data science. So these students are typically full-time workers and they choose this blended mode, which I'll talk about more in a moment. On the other hand, we also run very standard on-campus two semester in a year um, traditional um, mode for full or for part-time students. Some of those students are working students as well. Most of the students who choose that option are, um, uh, are full-time students and it's possible to mix and match. So if you enroll in the postgraduate programs in applied data and you get choice about taking these ones or these ones or both as you travel through the program. A little bit more detail on that. So let me go to the traditional first. I don't know if this audience sort of knows what I mean here. You've all done it before fairly recently or, um, or whether this is um, new to you. But basically the traditional mode should be like maybe you've seen in an undergraduate degree. Um, on campus, face to face, not online. 12 week semester study. Um, full-time um, load is four courses per semester and a part-time load is two courses per semester typically that can vary a bit that's the standard model um, and you study by lectures tutorials laboratories case studies readings projects exams often group work and that can be interspersed with the blended blended courses subject to visa rules so the blended these are the ones that are different and they're really designed for graduate coursework students. We have a, a special cohort here. Well, this is a fairly relatively small group. Um, they're pretty much all only studying the applied data analytics programs and they tend to develop a, quite a, a cohort set. So we work to develop a cohort across those students of shared learning. Typical course delivery is four weeks online for the first four weeks of the course. Um, it's not typical, it's all, it's all of these blended courses, four weeks online work, often with interaction and support from the teachers and, or, or, or um, tutors, then and, and answering questions and whatever, but it's largely they'll study online. Then one week of intensive, so you come on campus and we do a week full time face to face and there you see all the course staff working with you with lectures and laboratories. Um, maybe group work, maybe um, maybe feedback, maybe even some assessment going on at that stage, but full time for a week. Then after that, there's another four weeks um, and that may be spent doing more assessment. It may be spent doing um, new concepts as well, depends on the course, but that's again, online work, online work where you're not expected to be anywhere at any particular time, apart from possibly the final exam some courses will have. So these courses are offered outside a semester schedule. They're completely different. If you're gonna take those ones, forget everything you ever know about when semester start, started and finished. And they're organized that way. So we actually fit in five chances a year to take a course. So you can do up to five courses a year if you can keep up the pace back to back. But you only do one course at a time, not multiple courses, just one to keep up your part-time load. You can focus on only one course at a time. And similar content, really the 
the, the range of things that you study are pretty, the way you study is essentially the same things here, but this course delivery mode is very different. Um, quick comment here, um, visa rules, those, anyone who, who would be on a student visa, um, these online course or these blended courses can be limited to only um, one course per semester. So the, those, any students like that, you don't get full time, you don't get all access to all the blended courses that I just described, they count as online for visa purposes. So you'll be mostly, if you're um, an, an, an international student, you'll mostly be studying the on-campus courses, but there is still some access to blended courses from time to time to those students. Um, and quickly to admission. So I mentioned the graduate diploma, the master's and the graduate certificate. So the graduate diploma, you're expected to have a bachelor degree with honours. So that would be a four year undergraduate degree with, with a GPA of four and an award of honours, at least four, GPA of at least four. For, or you can come in with your bachelor's and GPA of four without the honours and have a year of relevant coursework. And we assess that, that that's relevant to the, to the degree, that work experience for a year. That would be a year full time. Or you can come in with a, with a very strong bachelor's degree with a GPA of five. Um, the master's is, is a bit more challenging to be admitted to and quite a lot of our students come into the grad dip and then move after a year when they've achieved respectively um, admission into the master's from their year's work on the graduate diploma. It's no extra, no extra um, coursework. All the graduate diploma stuff just flows straight into the master's. A lot of our students come in that way. But in the Masters, you can roll directly with a Bachelor with Honours and a GPA of five. Um, or if you don't have the Honours, again, you can enroll with a GPA of five um, and three years of relevant work. So the one year up here goes to three years relevant work at the Masters level. So enroll straight directly into the Masters. For the Graduate Certificate, so this is the shortest one with only four courses in it. Um, you, it's an exit only qualification, which is lingo for saying you need to enrol in the graduate diploma and then you leave it when you've done enough to, to, to be awarded the graduate certificate. So you can't enrol directly in the graduate certificate. Similarly for non-award students, you can come in not enrolling in anything at all except for the particular course. It ends up being quite difficult for you um, to go through the admission procedures that way. So what we ask you to do is to enrol in the graduate diploma. Sorry, I've gone slightly ahead of myself. Enrol in the graduate diploma and then just drop, um, drop out when you've, when you've done all the courses, the one course or multiple courses that you chose to do. Enrollment is at UAC. Enrollment for these happens actually five, there's five deadlines a year corresponding with the five terms. So we take people in all throughout the year um, and the dates can be found on the UAC where you enrol. Um, so at this point, that was a very fast introduction to the graduate, um, sorry, the Applied Data Analytics Program, the collection of those, that's the graduate certificate, the graduate diploma and the masters. But moving on now, I'm going to hand over to Ching here to talk about some very, very new um, graduate certificates, two new graduate certificates that will be offered in semester two, 2020, and also articulation fit in with that um, applied data analytics program. Thanks, Ching. Um, can I hand over to you? Yes, uh, thanks, Kerry. Uh, hello, everyone. So I'm Ching. I'm the convener for uh, the Liu program, Graduate Certificate of Data Engineering. Like Karen said, we have very, very new uh, programs. Uh, one is called the Graduate Certificate of Data Engineering. Another one is Graduate Certificate of Machine Learning and Computer Vision. So these two new programs is a response to the Australian government's request to help people upskill, reskill in this pandemic uh, crisis. So our college has developed this new, uh, these two new program. They are completely, they are completely online. Uh, so you, uh, no matter where you are, you can. Uh, we have uh, 
online or pre-recorded lecture recordings, uh, tutorials, labs, uh, uh, projects, examinations. So you can do all these uh, things online. Um, so currently we only have the approval for offering this program in semester two this year. We don't know whether uh, this program will uh, still available next year, so may or may not. Um, so for this new, uh, for this new two programs, for a graduate certificate of data engineering, basically uh, this program will uh, teach you something, uh, some skills, some knowledge about how to handle data. So uh, in terms of a career, um, you, could, uh, uh, you could have some jobs relating to um, uh, data, uh, database, data mining, or data wrangling. Um, the, uh, both programs only available to uh, domestic students uh, and also the fees uh, are discounted. Uh, the requirement for uh, admission um, is fairly uh, straightforward. Uh, basically, if you have a graduate uh, degree or something equivalent with a minimum of GPA of four out of seven, uh, I think the English requirement is trivial <laughs> to most of you. Um, one thing is like, uh, um, if you are current NU students, you are not eligible, but if you are graduating this semester, uh, then it, it, what I mean is if you are finishing your current degree after this semester one, then you will still be eligible for uh, this program. So this only um, means current student in terms of uh, if uh, you will uh, doing some program in semester two. The deadline for the applications oh, is uh, 6th of July. Um, so uh, I, for, the, for the program, Graduate Certificate of uh, Machine Learning and Computer Vision, um, that can lead you to a Master of uh, Machine Learning and uh, Computer Vision. Nevertheless, both, pro, uh, both certificates uh, can serve as a pathway to master of applied data analytics. So um, this, uh, certificate, uh, uh, these certificates uh, are classified as uh, uh, AQF8 qualification. So if you could finish with a GPA of five, you are eligible to uh, get into ANU postgraduate uh, uh, programs. Uh, specifically for Master of Applied Data Analytics, uh, you will get uh, admission if you uh, finish uh, certificates uh, of uh, certificates of these two new programs uh, with GPA of five. But for uh, data engineering, you will get 24 uh, unit credit into Master of Applied Data Analytics. For a um, certificate of machine learning and computer vision, you, you could only get a six uh, unit credit. Um, so uh, next I want to provide you some more specific information about graduate certificate of uh, data engineering. Um, so because we only have the uh, approval for offering this program in semester two, that means uh, any student start, start, it, um, start uh, in, the, uh, in the middle of the year, we need to make sure they can get a certificate by the end of the year. Um, to uh, achieve this, we have designed the whole program in terms of two teaching blocks. What does this mean? So it means we, uh, we will have the first block which starts from the beginning of semester two, that's 27th of July. Uh, uh, two courses, one is uh, introduction to programming for data uh, scientists. Um, another course is introduction to uh, database concepts. These two uh, courses will be uh, taught uh, uh, for six weeks um, at the same time 
Okay, so this is the first block starting from the beginning of semester two, 27th of July for six weeks. Then uh, there will be a break uh, of six weeks. After that, the second block will start uh, from 28th of September. So you will uh, be learning uh, data mining and the data rendering for another six weeks. I want to emphasize um, these courses because the length of a teaching is six weeks. So it, require, um, six, uh, it requires um, 20 hours per week for, stud uh, for study. So it means if you are doing uh, two courses in each block, uh, it's a full-time commitment. You need to commit 40 hours per week for uh, studying uh, these courses. Uh, this means if you are working full time, I would strongly uh, suggest you to talk to uh, your employer uh, to have some, come up with some arrangement for your uh, workload um, um, and get some leave for this uh, block period. If you are working in uh, government sectors, you might be eligible to um, um, get a study leave or uh, get some funding to support your study. Another uh, question I often, um, I have often been asked by students is if uh, I don't have any IT or computing background, okay? So would it be possible to uh, do this uh, program? So the answer is yes. Uh, for the four courses covered by this program, in the past, we have many uh, students who uh, come from a, a non-computing background and also they did very well. But um, I do want to emphasize because these courses are delivered um, in six weeks, so very intensive, you do need to have a very strong commitment to, uh, for uh, studies. It's, uh, you need to put enough time and also um, you need to have a persistent because quite often at the beginning of uh, particularly uh, the two courses in block one, you may feel, okay, uh, you learn something uh, with quite a you know, different mindset. So there will be some transition period, could be a, a bit of challenge, but um, in my experience, I can see some students really doing very well after they get through that transition period. Okay. Um, so that's, uh, um, so I also uh, have been asked, you know, whether um, uh, the pre-record um, of uh, two advanced courses come uh, uh, eight, 84.10 and 84.30 can waive the uh, pre-record for the first two courses, the first two introductory courses, uh, database and also um, programming for uh, data scientists. The answer is no, because um, uh, it's important uh, you take these uh, two courses, two uh, uh, introductory courses first, then that will help you transfer into uh, another two advanced uh, courses. Uh, you can put uh, your application directly through AU. So basically, if you go to uh, the website, programs and the courses, AU, if you uh, find the certificate of data engineering, there is a button uh, uh, apply. You can click and just um, submit your application through there directly. Mm -hmm.